Nice. I'll flip it on, flip it up. There you go. Oh, shoot. Not a fit. On the Guardian bait, guys. That's insane. How's it going, guys? Today, we'll be setting out to do something that's never been done on YouTube before, bait making history. Today, we're gonna be making a Minecraft fishing lure. Why? <laughs> Anyways guys, this video is going to be crazy. Smash the like button. Going fishing at my buddy's pond at the end of this. Going to catch some absolute tanks on this bait. So before I can fish the Minecraft fishing lure, I got to make the Minecraft fishing lure. So here's some bait making. So here's the rest of the Guardian. We're going to cut it out. Here's the fin, here's the two body segments, and this is where this will go, and then we'll add all the spines later. But I gotta pick up some parts at Hobby Lobby for that. They really don't have the patience to cut out a bunch of little tiny squares, basically. Nice little hinge. So, majority of the Guardian is done. I've got this in polyurethane, just kind of get the wood a little bit nicer you know it's, it's harder to chip up and drop and stuff once it's been polyurethane so that's kind of the look it's gonna have and then I picked these up at the store they're these uniform length little dowel rods and I'm gonna cut these to length to be the little spines I guess is what you would call them and I cut out this Lexan polycarbonate lips lips so this is gonna be a wake bait actually I think about right here is where it's gonna go on this I have to cut a slot to slip this down in, but that'll be easy. You can do that with the Dremel. I still need to weight this bait. I've drilled a hole, but I think I'm gonna need to make it a little bit bigger, but I'm not gonna put that much lead in here because I want it to float along the top. So I might have gotten ahead of myself and uh, started gluing sticks on here, which is exactly what I did last night. I just went nuts on this thing. That's done, basically. The last thing I gotta do is add lead, which that'll be real quick and easy. I got the lip glued in. Got a little bit of polyurethane on here, but that'll just come off with some paint thinner. I'm gonna do a custom square lure eye on here. I'll show you how to make that with some UV clear coat. So I think all I gotta do is add lead. So we're gonna do that real quick. Ah! Tragedy avoided. Blew out that fire. Cool. Super glue. That was really nice super glue. It comes out like super controlled. So I'm just doing a little testing right now and uh, it's gonna be a top water, obviously. Okay, so as of right now, this thing does not work in the slightest. I tested it. I thought it might have some results. It sucks, it's terrible. So I looked at the picture of the actual Guardian and they have a lot shorter little spines. So I cut them down a bit and then hopefully to get the tail, because I know this top part, my, I think my main problem is this lip isn't big enough compared to the wooden like body. Because the way a bait works is it pushes water to the sides and then the sides, what causes it to crank and then the lip will also help with that. But see the thing is it's got this big flat face and it's not like a t traditional crankbait. I'm looking to see if I have a crankbait, which I do not have in here. I'll be right back. So with a smaller crankbait, for example, it has a taper from the front to the end, and then it has a lip up front. And the entire point of this is to move water. This pull, this lip up here is to pull it down, to catch water and pull it down. And the front is tapered and the back is tapered to push water from the, that goes from the front to the sides. And when water pushes from this side, it wants to go this way. And that makes water push from this side and it wants to go that way. So that's how you get this action tight like that. It's all depending on your lure design. I have made several crankbaits, completely different action. It changes and depends on your weighting and action lip. And that's why it's kind of hard to tell a lure's action before you test it. That's why I had to test this one so many times before I could even get to anything. And it's top water. This is a wake bait and these are crankbaits. So there's obviously going to be a difference because I want this to be a top water. So there's going to be some sort of difference. But this thing doesn't do anything. It's a block of wood. It has no action. So to counteract that, I saw this one, I think Marlene Bates video, and he talks about it, where he has a tail piece with a lip on it. 
have the big bulky front that's gonna f the swim. There's gonna be a hook here and a hook there. And then this tail is supposed to go nuts. There is weight. There is weight right here, weight right here, and then a little bit of weight in the front of this lip part and a little bit in the back. And hopefully that's just to pull the tail down and this lip will get some action. I just gotta do some final sanding and then one last dip of polyurethane. And whether it works or not, I'm gonna paint it. I really don't care at this point. <laughs> So the final coat of polyurethane has finally dried. Both the lips are taped up. This and the tail lip are taped up. And I'm gonna paint these and we're gonna start off with a base coat of white. So for the color of a guardian, it's sort of a sea greenish color. And they didn't have that color in regular airbrush paint. So I just took this I squirted some reducer in there and I just shook it up until it was about the right consistency. I know you're supposed to measure, but like, I don't really care. Paint time. So the bait is pretty much done. I'm happy with how it looks. The only thing now I need to add is a lure eye. So I want to show you, I'm going to make a custom eye that's square because all the eyes I have are round. So, and some screws in the wood. That's good enough. Next, I have these two shiny little squares because a guardian's eyes are share squares. So I'm just gonna dab some glue on here and stick them on. So I just put some UV clear coat on these eyes and I messed that one up, that's fine. That's why there's multiple. I would choose the best looking one. These ones all have white sprayed on them. I just wanna see the difference. I think my favorite's that one in the top right. And so I'm going to put a UV light over this. I'm gonna let them cure. Once they're cured, we'll see how they look on the bait. And UV light time. And you gotta be careful not to look directly at a UV light when you're using it. I always either wear sunglasses Or I look away from it. Gee. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go with it, and I'm gonna clear coat this bad boy. Oh, look at that! That's a freaking guardian right there. That's awesome. So the Guardian is done. I'm actually gonna be able to take this fishing. It actually works. Clear coat ha kind of has a few blobs in it where it makes it look a little bit weird, especially around the eye right there. But I'm not selling it, I'm keeping it for myself, so I don't mind that. But it works and I might actually be able to catch a fish on this, so. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Now flip it on, flip it up. There you go. Somebody grab it. Oh, dude. No, oh, that's a big sucker, too. Dang, bro. I got that on video. That's awesome. Dude, this ain't even a big one. Here, hook it on this. Act like we caught it on here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a turtle right there. It's coming up. Where's he at? Oh, he's coming for the top water. I know. You better hurry. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Let's see if I can mess with them. Oh, should I try and mess with them? Hey, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Get in there. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna pop. You see this army coming? Of turtles? Holy cow, there's so many of them. <laughs> Smack. Oh shoot! Caught a fish. Awesome. He's tiny, but that makes my life so much easier. There's actually fish in this pond. Would, would you freaking look at that? Dude. Oh, you're talking about the turtle. You're talking about the fish, Paul. I was like, what? Quit flopping around. Nice, first catch. On the guardian bait, guys. That's insane. Good cause. Hey, YouTube video, nice. Oh yes, on the video with the Carters. Yes, he said it, I, I was watching the video and computer excited was not gonna pay attention. Woo! The Carter, uh, what is it, what do you say? Let me, can I hold it? Awesome, that, that's awesome, bro. On the freaking Guardian Bay, and it didn't destroy it. I was worried about these little spikes. Cause if something over like two pounds hits it, that's like balsa wood, it's gonna. So that was all the fish we caught that day. I caught a little dink and my buddy Jace, he caught a little like three and a half pounder, I'd say. Our fishing got cut short. We had to go do a car wash for our wrestling team, but there'll be more videos in the future. I'm going to go saltwater fishing with the Guardian Lure right now actually that's why i'm in the car we're going to florida we just stopped to use the bathroom oh yeah my buddy jace has like his personal vendetta against the turtles in the pond because they took one of his top water frogs so he was shooting him with the pelt gun the entire time that's what was happening in the background if you saw that i've watched this far in the video like and subscribe trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer thanks for watching see you guys bye